Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tasha Pearl. And I'm back with another video. Here come my dog. Mo Bigs. Sorry guys. Chest sizing my dog. We're looking real florally today. It's a little chilly outside in Dallas, Texas. I'm um, going to a baby shower later. But I wanted to shoot a haul video before I go. So that way y'all can see what I got yesterday so me and my husband we was hanging out on saturdays like we normally do just to get out the house because i work from home so i be at home all week literally and then he works like second shift so he be it be getting like two hours before i have to get off work it'd be time for him to go into work so we don't really be hanging during the week except when we go to bed and then that's it so on the weekends we go outside you know what i'm saying outside Sometimes it be raining and shit. We don't care. As long as it's not like no snow or no ice storm or nothing like that. If we slip in the sliding, we outside with the vibes. So we were just going. Him and my brother, they have this thing where they 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 they, they buy socks and shit. So he was like, I want some new socks. Cause um my brother's getting married in June. Um, so we're going back to Vegas. Um, he's doing a little more bougier than what we're doing, but we'll see. Cause I feel like we did a good job on ours and everything and we really enjoyed ourselves and we were out there a whole week and our anniversary is the week before that he's getting married so we're gonna be in Dallas on June 3rd so we'll probably do dinner here then get ourselves situated to go to Vegas either Tuesday or Monday but I think we're gonna leave out Tuesday early Tuesday morning so um and come back um Monday so almost like a full week but I digress let's get to what y'all want to see it's the haul so we went to uh, TJ Maxx. Love a good TJ Maxx. So we got some house, home goods stuff, and then I got some random regular stuff. Not to break this little jar. So we're doing the savings challenge with the jar, right? Uh, at every first of the month, you whatever the temperature is, that's how much money you put in the jar. I'm doing it, and my husband's doing it collectively together, so we can. Have a good, decent amount of money saved. So, um, so this is one of our savings challenges that we're doing. So, um, we got a jar. It's a big old jar. It's a big old jar. He might be saving more money than me because he gets paid weekly. I get paid twice a month. So, get over here. Get paid twice a month. But it's neither here nor there. Um, so, we got this big old jar. Like, it's going to be filled with a whole bunch of money. Um, yeah. So, we got this big old jar. We got a little jar, too. But, um, I don't know. It's the big jar? Mine? Babe, is the big jar the one we saving in? Yeah. Yeah, so the big jar is the one we saving in. We got a little jar, too, but y'all need to see it. It's just a regular mason jar. But I just wanted to show y'all the big mason jar, and it says Mason Craft Store. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's engraved. And then it has the price. It's $12.99 compared to $18. Ain't that much of a motherfucking savings, but a savings it is. He liked it. He's like, this is good for the savings channel. And look... So we're gonna um every first of the month we're gonna put our money in here. Um right now for the first for the January first we have our money in our checking account. Um because we didn't take any cash out because we didn't have a jar or nothing to put it in yet. So now we're gonna put it in a mason jar and we're gonna see how much we we're, we're gonna save. Johnny might be putting extra because he's extra like that. He um he gets cash a little more often than I do. Um. Uh, I'm just not a cash girl. I'm probably just going to send him to the bank and be like, he'll pull it off, you know? So he might actually have way more put in here than me. I might wait uh, three months down the line and pull my money off and then put it in here just so we can see it and see how much we save. Because I want to count it, like, either on live or do a video counting how much we save before we go to Vegas. So we're trying to see how much we're going to save before we go to Vegas. That's going to be our, um, what's that going to be, like our food spending money? Yeah, so um, we're going to see how much we saved, and that's going to be like our food spending money. We did so good last time. I don't think we spent over $1,000 eating in Vegas because, shout out to TikTok, we saw all the little places that you plug in is cheap and good affordable eats and stuff like that. But this time, I feel like we're going to spend more because we're going to actually leave off the strip, like off, off the strip, um, and not just on Fremont Street, like off the strip, like there's restaurants and stuff. So we're going to see. Um, but we're getting the Airbnb. So, we may do a little cooking, too. But, um, I just feel like we're going to spend more money this time. But, we'll see. We're going to, okay, so, we're going to be out there Tuesday and Wednesday, probably with my brother and then my future sister-in-law, his fiance, 
and then the rest of the crew is coming on Thursday. So I feel like we might not spend too, too much money on Tuesday and Wednesday versus the rest of the time that we there. But we'll see because we be trying to budget as a whole and then turn up at the same time. So I don't know. But y'all, I digress. This mason jar is really cute and this is for our savings challenge. So yeah. To the next item. I'm going to finish with the houseware, home goods shit. So. My husband saw this air purifier. And he wanted to get one for the house because my brother has one. He said his quality of air in his house is better since he got the air purifier. And I feel like, yes, we need to get this because we have a dog. Like, we have a dog. And... It gets, I like to open my windows and stuff and let the fresh air in. But, you know, sometimes it's cold. You can't have your windows open to purify the air. You know? So, we got an air purifier. I wanted to grab a little smaller one, but he thought this one, it was bigger. And what's the price? This one was $24.99. And it's the PAR 2 Air Purifier Model BS03. Effective. Uh, effective particle remover 99.9% .9%. so we gonna see it has three light bars a child lock and a reset we don't got no kids here so it's just me and my husband we don't have children so and we don't be having little kids over here at our house either we'll go over there with them if we're gonna babysit we're gonna babysit at your house all that shit like y'all going out of town we watching your kids at y'all's house like all that if we take them out we take them out to eat play whatever and then we bring them back to they parents house so we really don't have no kids over here like the only kid that usually be over here that may come over here still is Caitlin. like my nieces and nephews they came in for christmas they was over here because their parents was here but we don't know they have no kids over here by ourselves so you know but we got that good old air purifier so we gonna see how our air quality feels i think i don't know if y'all just gonna put it together now but i know definitely in the spring Definitely in the spring, it's going to be used, used. So, we'll see. We'll see, y'all. Next item. We got a mini waffle iron. Like, okay, so we had an old waffle iron. Like, okay, y'all y'all probably don't know. So, um, my mom passed away. So, I inherited her house. So, we inherited a lot of stuff. But, baby, that waffle iron was old and tattered and banged the hell up. It's probably from the 80s. <laughs> Baby, I was born in 85. Like, when we moved out here to Texas, like, so we moved out here to Texas from Louisiana. My daddy had got a job transfer. We was in South Carolina for a little bit, and we went back to New Orleans because my sister was going to South Carolina. She's the only one that's not a Louisiana in. But, um, and his job transferred him out here to Texas, so that's how we got out here. So we came out here. My parents did not do none of that. Oh, we throwing it away, starting over shit. They moved all day shit in a big ass U-Haul and did that thing on like Tetris. Like they had they had three cars. They had three cars. But um <clears throat> my daddy sold my daddy sold his green Audi and then my mama kept her black Audi and she had her station wagon. So when we was in New Orleans and then when my daddy did the transfer my daddy took the black Audi with him down here to Texas. Those were stick shift cars. My mama learned how to drive a stick shift. And mind you, my mama is a New Yorker, y'all. She never learned how to drive a day in her life until she got with my daddy in the military. There was no need to drive, bitch. We used public transportation. That was her mindset. But baby, shout out to Roz. Oh, I miss you. She could drive anything. Do you hear me? A big ass truck, stick shift. A big, big, I'm talking about, a, she probably could drive an 18-wheel. Now, do I know she could back the trailers in? I don't know about that, but she could drive that big bitch, okay? So, yeah, so we came out here, we moved with our stuff. Did we get new stuff as it came along? Yes, because we got older. We were little kids, so, you know, bigger. Then we got new furniture. My mama and dad bought us all new bedroom sets and stuff like that eventually down the line. But you don't want your kids and stuff sleeping on the floor. You don't want nobody sitting on the floor. Like, we came with our furniture, washer, dryer, everything. So, baby, and as we progressed and moved on, and like, my mama has gotten rid of some things. And then my granny passed away, so we got some of her stuff and, you know, eagerly distributed on everybody. But it's time to replace some stuff. <laughs> 
me and Johnny are making this our home. Like, we're going to do um, a remodel series where we're going to update and paint and stuff. My mama usually always paint, like, every two to three years. But as she, her health started to deteriorate, we didn't paint as often. So, hence the reason why this wall is still pink as hell. She put a pink wall. It was, she said, no, it's a, a, a light salmon color. And I'm like, girl, for what? Got a half painted wall. Yeah. Yeah, I digress, y'all. I digress. But we getting some new stuff, okay? Um, so we got this little mini waffle maker. I told Johnny I didn't want to get no new appliances and stuff because we got to rebottle the kitchen and stuff like that. And I'm trying to hold off. Like, we have new dishes and stuff that we got for our wedding, new nicest, like new stuff. I haven't opened it. I put it up in the closet. Like, we're not using none of that until we remodel our stuff. So we saving for that too. But we could do regular painting and shit ourselves. So we're going to get to that probably pretty soon. I don't know if we're going to get to it before we vacation or after we vacation. But we'll figure it out. We haven't decided on any paint colors yet. and uh, We haven't like solidified it and set it in stone yet. So I think that's what's holding us up. It's like doing that. But we got this little mini wall fire. It's $7. It was $6.99 so $7. It is the WW by Dash. So, mini waffle maker, single serve. So, baby, you have to let this cook. Huh, make another one. Let it cook. Huh, make another one. He's the cook. He wanted it. Fine, we got it. So, I want y'all to see the box. So, if y'all see this, get it. Let me know. Get two or three of them. Like, or get like three or four of them. So, that way you can, huh, 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 have multiple going at the same time. That's what he should have did, but I digress. He did what he did. He might get a bigger one. So, I think he only did this because we really enjoyed our family coming in for Christmas. And, like, they're probably going to be coming back and he'll be making breakfast and shit like that. Or when they come, their mamas and my sister-in-law, like, they be cooking like a motherfucker. So, they'll cook. So, but I'm going to make him make me some, probably some protein waffles. You know, watch the sugars. But, he saw this too. It's by the same brand, Dash. Recipes included. Okay, this is a waffle stick maker. So he got the little mini waffle and then he got the waffle stick Maker it says fast portable breakfast one set up plug it in, you know non cooking Non stick safety first stick together So yeah, and this was $7.99 so $8 Let's See on the back is how it looks. So y'all know y'all can do like them little omelets like waffle shaped omelets and stuff, them recipes and stuff, we're going to be doing that. I could be able to prep my breakfasts and stuff, and I think that's what he was thinking when he got this, too. Because he could do that, like, with the um the little mini waffle iron and then meal prep my breakfasts. Make my little omelets ahead of time, and then I could just warm them up real quick. And then, um, probably cook my meat, you know, right in and there. But, um, it says it's got recipes included in here, so. But, it don't matter. It's so cute, y'all. So, waffle stick. So, he's getting into his thing. So, we have we have a really old deep fryer that um my mama had since I don't know how long. That whole old as hell. We're going to get rid of that because I, while we were dating, Johnny likes stuff. So, I bought him a bigger double deep fryer. So, we have one of those. So, we're keeping that one. So, we don't have to get a deep fryer. We have blenders, but we don't have like Nutribullet blenders or nothing like that. So, um, we haven't blended none in a while, so he said these blenders work, so we're going to have to see if they work. Um, baby, I'm hoping they don't so I can get some new blenders. You know, I like new shit. Um, we got an air fryer. We've been using the hell out of our air fryer, too. Y'all, uh, air fryer is a great investment, but we want a new air fryer. We want another air fryer on top of the air fryer that we got because we air fry a lot of stuff. Like, in the winter time, like when it's cold and stuff, it's cool to cook on the stove and stuff all the time, but... When it get hot, you don't want to be cooking and, and it be hot in your house and shit like that. The air fryer is your best friend in the summertime. Do you hear me? The air fryer is your best friend in Texas in the summertime. Don't nobody want to cook in the kitchen of a hot stove besides making maybe some canned good sides. Baby, we don't want to be no meat, none of that. We grill our meat outside either on the grill or it's going to be made in the air fryer. We don't even want to bake nothing in the summertime. It's too hot. It's too hot. But, um, yeah. So, when I get me into that fryer, y'all see that too. Because uh, we're going to be getting some new pots, some new pans, all that good stuff. But, yeah. So, on to the next sort of item. 
I know we got some more home good stuff. Hold on, y'all. Johnny, where the rest of your stuff? Where the rest of your stuff, babe? Oh, hold on, y'all. Another bag over here. So, every time you walk up to the counter, it's, hey, it's always some shit. So, it just made sense since we got the waffle maker. We got a big flipper spatula turner that ain't just going to be used for pancakes. And this was $2.99, so $3. Got that. Probably going to. Use stir up eggs and stuff too. I don't even know why the hell he got a damn cheese grater. We buy shredded cheese. Like who grated some damn cheese? He is. But you can grate other stuff too with it. So he got a damn. I call it a cheese grater. And it was four ninety nine five dollars. It says the box grater. So he got a damn cheese grater, y'all. Look like a damn cowbell. And then. Yeah. Some wood in your utensils. Definitely make your little eggs and stir your sauces and all that good stuff with it. Six piece bamboo set. Includes a curved spoon, a salad spoon, a slotted spoon, a slotted spoon turner, and a bamboo crock. Don't know nothing about that. Damn it. Some shit that you cook with, damn it. And it was $5, so $4.99. So, that is all of the houseware, homeware stuff. So, we're going to get to health and beauty and accessories. So, I always be going to the hair section and the health and beauty section, skincare, all that good stuff. So, every time we go, I got to get our favorite lotion. It's in different packaging, but it's the same thing. It's the uh, coconut and vanilla. Oh, it's a little different, but this is coconut and vanilla. And we have coconut and shea butter and vanilla ones, but we got coconut and vanilla this time. Plus, in a little different package. It smells so good, y'all. And it was on clearance because it got the red tag for $5.50. So, normally, it'd be like $7, $8 compared to $10 normally. But this is, um, it was $5.50. So, anytime I see a red tag, I'd be grabbing it. Because, baby, you can never have enough lotion. Like, you're ashy. And it's just like, my body now, since I really became a diabetic, it gets, like, super duper dry. And my uncle told me that because he's a diabetic. He said, you got to keep your skin real moisturized. You be getting real dry. So, it's like, I think I really need to up my water intake. And I like water. And I drink water. But I feel like I have to double it even more now because it's like, dang, you know, shit drying you out. But my skin, like, my, my face skin, it's drier in the wintertime. But it's like... In the summertime, it'd be like real oily, but it's another year I'm a diabetic, so we'll see. We'll see, y'all. Um, but this right here is really good. Y'all get it. Or don't get it. So I can keep getting it. <laughs> so I always be buying stuff, man. Like, sorry y'all. Y'all seen top of my damn wig. I couldn't pass it up. I saw these shampoos. I saw the red clearance sticks, four fifty, and they're uh, the Lulisa apple cider vinegar shampoo, clarifying. So I feel like I needed to get more clarifying shampoos. And I was like, "Look, Johnny, they four fifty. Should I get one too? He said, "You better get two. And he said, "And if you really like it, then um, we'll go back and get you some more. So, cause I had to clarify my scalp really good, cause it be it itches really bad. Like I don't know, like I don't have typical, I want to say African American girls scalp. Like, me stretching my hair two weeks out to wash it, it's a big damn script. Like, it be itching like hell. Like, my mom, like, my mom used to literally wash my hair and braid it every week for the school week. Like, she would do my hair every week. Like, I didn't, like, start stretching my styles probably until I got older. Like, when I got, like, box braids or um, crochets. But even then, I washed my hair. Like, I had to get into my scalp. So, my scalp, it ain't. Me pushing it two weeks, that's pushing it. Like, I have to clarify it real good. And I might have to use one of my, like, anti-itch oils for me to push it two weeks to wash it. But, yeah, so, 
I think this will work good on my hair, this clarifying shampoo. So, um, what I'm learning is with my hair, I can clarify it first, then wash it with the moisturizer shampoo, then wash it with the moisturizing conditioner, and then deep conditioner it. And then I will alternate and then wash it with the protein. I have to get back to including my protein into my wash day, so I have to get back to alternating that stuff and really taking care of my hair because I want to grow it out. Like, I got to trim. Well, shit, I got to cut because it's cut back into a damn bob. Um, I got to cut, and I still need to cut some more off. So, I'm trying to grow my hair back out, y'all. So, you will be seeing your girl with braids and wigs and stuff. So, I'm going to get some knotless braids next week. But, I got these. And, I'm going to let y'all know how I like them and stuff. Or, y'all um, remind me and let me know if y'all want to review on these. On the shampoo. It's the same thing on the shampoo. Clarifying the shampoo. And, if all this feels I don't like it, I can use it to wash my weave and extensions. So, Nothing goes to waste around here, okay? And then my husband, he just use anything. So, he just got scalped. So, he just use anything. So, I bought them two shampoos and I had to get a big-ass conditioner, right? Because you see, red on the clear section, $4. It's the M-O-A-C-A. It's the Mueleka Omega-3 Argan and Camilla Moisturizer Shampoo. It says our special blend of Mueleka Oil, Omega-3 Argan Oil, and Camilla Oil. M-O-A-C. We replenish, protect, and nourish while restoring shine and softness back to your hair. So, I saw this and I said, shit, I could have bought it. It's big. It's $4. And I feel like, hey, if I like it, cool. If I don't, I can use it for my wigs and weeds. Like, nothing goes to waste around here. You know, when you wear extensions, nothing goes to waste, baby. Um, But, you know, if I feel like it's not enough, you can always doctor it up and add a little oil in there and Whip, whip, mix it up, you know, that girl stuff. You know, they tell us not to use stuff that has alcohol in it, but sometimes you can't help it. But we'll see because sometimes a little, they, have, they have alcohol in there a little bit and, and it worked fine. It worked good, you know. That's why you deep condition after you condition it. So, but if you have to do like a wash and go or like a, what they call it, wash and go, co-wash, this will probably be your go-to, you know. But yeah, it was, it was four. It was on sale for four dollars. It was originally twelve before it got to TJ Maxx, and it probably dropped down to like ten. So four dollars is good. That's that's a good deal. That's a good deal, y'all. So on to the next set of items. Okay, you know I went to the makeup section and didn't need no more eyeshadow palettes. I don't. But I saw this. Ellen Tracy Golden Metallic Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And the packages look so cute to me. The I don't know if it's going to be good. I might have to put a good base. Put concealer and then put a good eye base down. You know, to get the product to pop. But it looked like a good neutral palette that I could use. And it was $5. You know, so $4.99. So, we're going to go with it. I think I saw some reviews and stuff on TikTok on it. And some girls using it. It was of the lighter complexion, but, you know, we're not going to judge it off of the complexions of people using it. We're going to use it because I think I'm going to bring this with me. I'm going to try it out and bring it with me, and it'll be my travel palette instead of me bringing, like, my big, like, morph palette and my Juvia's Place and all that, but I might still bring it. But if I really like this and I'm going to bring this, then I'm not going to need to bring my morph palette and stuff. I'm going to drop something. Hold on, y'all. But I uh, went, and I really needed some mascaras. So, I got this. The Ardell Wispies 4D Building Mascara. So, I got some good shit. And it is, it was three ninety nine, dollars so $4 compared to, it says 6 But Ardell costs more than $6, $6 at like a drugstore and stuff like that. So, it says it has a full silicone one and all that good stuff. So, I got that because I need a mascara. I like, I have like one mascara left, my better than sex. And it's on its last leg. <laughs> I be like, T -t 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 -t. like I put a little on today. Y'all can see my little lashes. Put a little on today. Y'all can see them a little bit. Not too much. But uh, my old faithful, my L'Oreal Voluptuous Extra Volume Color collagen so i love l'oreal l'oreal um 
this uh this line it's really good mascara like i had the other one besides the volume one i picked the lengthening one either one of these you're gonna see your lashes you're gonna see your lashes using this so i definitely thought i said ah oh, look and it was the last one so i grabbed it i got so excited when i saw this so this is a good buy if you can get that tj Maxx for the low get it so you don't have to pay eight you can pay half of it. then y'all know they close down like all the more stores right so like anything more that is appealing to me i'm grabbing it i'm buying it like look at these color liners and it was um the nyan fierce fairy tale so it was a nyan collection these are six piece color pencil set kit uh six piece color pencil set and y'all know i don't really do no damn color so why did i get this why they added to my collection i guess it's more and I'm mad I missed out on the sale at the stores and shit. Like, I missed out. Like, I'm living under a fucking rock. And then they closed it down, like, the last day. And then they ain't had shit left. Like, so. But they still sell more stuff in Alta and online on their website. I don't know why they closed their stores down. Um, bad business with the money. All the people lost their jobs and stuff. And I feel so bad. I hope y'all bounce back. And, um. Y'all are into makeup really, really good. So, y'all could be makeup artists. So, get y'all money, okay? Build y'all clientele up, honey. Um, Y'all can apply to other places. Y'all can get y'all entrepreneur on, okay? It's fit to be uh, prom season, wedding season. Um, It's banquet season right now. Uh, Birthdays. Everybody has birthdays. Like, get yourself out there, baby, and make that money. Um, I don't know where else y'all could go. Y'all might find different places that want to make up artists, studio, you know, yeah, network y'all sales, okay? Because, um, y'all deserve to have jobs. If y'all want to apply to Sephora, Matt, be at the Matt counter, Estee Lauder counter, all that good stuff in, in these department stores, y'all could do that. Um, you know, now they got Ulta stores and, uh, and some Targets, so, uh, wish y'all the best of luck. And, you know, God bless y'all. And I'm hoping y'all able to bounce back. But get y'all entrepreneurial on. If you if you just need a little uh, job just to have your insurance benefits and then do y'all business on the side, do your thing, okay? That's the business of clients and sell up. Or do your thing to take care of your family, you know? But I love it. And God bless you guys. And I'm sorry that had to happen to y'all. We're in a real bad recession right now in America. It's really messed up. And our federal government... Kind of sucks and people are not getting out and voting to vote these old ass people out because that's what it is it's old people these people are old as hell like y'all gotta vote these grandmas and grandpas out y'all sitting here and letting people that are old as hell from previous generations run this generation they ain't know what a computer technology they use the rotary phones that you had to and all that we need some millennials up in there some gen Zers. at least when you get millennials we were the cross between the old and the new generation. Like, we came in when we got home computers, all that. We gonna feel y'all. Okay? We gonna feel y'all. But, I digress. Let me get off the politics and get back to my house. Every time I go, I gotta get my vitamin C serum because I was running out. And I was mad. I was like, ah, they don't have it. They had it. It was hiding behind something. Somebody was hiding it. Uh, I don't know where the damn sticker at, but, um, this was, I want to say $4.99, so, $5, so. Yep, go on vitamin C, it lights up your dark spots. As y'all can see, it's lighting up a lot of my dark spots. Put this on at night before you go to bed, after you wash your face, it's clean. And even lightening up some of my, my dark circles a little bit in my eyes. Even though they're kind of hereditary, and it's not so much you can do, but... Maybe I'm doing what I can do, okay? And where y'all sunblock. They even tell you where sunblock in the um wintertime, but I don't. But in the summertime, we own the sunblock. And I need to find me a new sunblock to try, so y'all recommend some sunblock for me to try. Seriously. Okay, so we got some more stuff. So let's get to the accessories. So... Johnny saw these croc slides and he was like, I like them. Oh, they're your size. So he bought them for me. 
So they're normally $30 and they're $16.99. So, got the colorway. So I can have these. You know, they with the fur on the inside. So, you know, I see the people wearing these when it's cold with the socks on. But I think I will wear these in the summertime. Because I don't be caring. But, um, we shall see. Because when we go to Las Vegas, will it technically be summer? Or will it still be spring? I might be able to pull it off and finesse it. Who knows? But I bought them. Well, my husband bought them. So they were cute. I had to my croc collection because these are like, and to be honest, you guys, these are like my second pairs of crocs. Like, seriously, I wasn't into crocs for that. My sister bought me my first pair. They're all black, and then Johnny bought me these. And I really want some croc boots in that uh, the croc bag. So yeah, I'm gonna look into that. I'm trying to be good and not really chop chop like that, but y'all, when I go through it, sometimes I have to have retail therapy, but. I made my retail therapy to where it's stuff that I need to get for our vacation trips. So, yeah. And I've been getting rid of a lot of stuff. And I'm going to get rid of some more stuff. So, yeah. But, um. I bought a bag. I saw this. And I said, ooh, it's cute. I grabbed this and the black one. Johnny's like, now you don't need both them bags. You going to pick one. So, I was like, oh. I was like, well, I need a little new bag. Because I have like a new a new tote, Messy Johnson bag. So I need a little new that I could do, 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 So I got this one. And it was originally compared to $30 and it was $19.99. So this is the UE Urban Expressions. I like it. It's cute. I don't know if I really can carry it over my shoulder because I have big... Auntie arms, I have to hook, 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 hook. But oh, I got it on there a little bit. A little bit, but baby, we're gonna carry it like this. Oh, baby, we're gonna carry it like this. It's for the vibes. It's for the vibes, honey. I just need a, a little new bag. So, y'all can see. It looks darker than what it's showing on the camera, guys. I don't know if, if I turn my ring light actual on. Okay, I think y'all get the color better with my ring light on. Let me see if I can turn it down. But yeah, it looks like it's a little bit more darker in public, but I don't know. It's just coming off a little lighter. But it's a new bag. I like the braided handle design. I like that. And it has hooks and it has a strap. So you can make it, you can really make it a crossbody. And I'm into the crossbody way, baby. So that just really hyped me up that I forgot that you can make it a crossbody. So it has a strap. So yeah. Good little $20, honey. And y'all, like I told y'all before, I'm not a name brand whore. If it's cute and I want it, I'm going to buy it. Because just like with this little bucket bag, the $40 bucket bag, real genuine leather, with the chain so it can be crossbody because that's how I wear it. Got that on clearance for 32. Um, I walked past, they had some Michael Kors buckets bags, but they had this one, the black one, a red one. I didn't need no more black bags. I'm trying to branch out and get different colors so I could have more a variety of bags to go with more variety of my outfits because I'm starting to get into more colors and stuff. But um, yeah. So I got that one versus the Michael Kors one. I was like, baby, I can get two bags for the price of that one. So yeah, that's what I did. I got that one. But yeah, this little $20 bag is cute. I don't care. I'm not an anybody whore. So we're going to carry it, baby. So this is this is definitely one that I'm bringing with me to Vegas. Because I have a dress. Oh, I have an orange dress that I didn't wear. And it's like, and it's like really cleavage-y. But it doesn't have like straps like for me to wear like a bra with it. So I have to either wear a bra, a strapless bra. I have to find one of them butterfly bras and buy it and see if I can... <laughs> with it or get some boot tape i ain't learned the boot tape stuff i have boot tape but it's not like i ain't learned how to make it stay in place because i live in hot climates i live in texas and then going to las vegas that's hot too so i'm living where it's hot and the humidity and <sighs> boot tape just might not be boot taping so i might go to my seamstress and maybe see if she could sew in a built-in bra situation 
on it and see if she can do that. Because I really want to wear that dress. It's really, 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 really freaking cute. And I'll be really, 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 really freaking cute in the dress. So, I'm going to figure it out. And I'm on a weight loss journey right now. So, I'm losing weight. And, y'all, it's a struggle. <laughs> I be hungry. And then... I'm a diabetic and it's like when I have to, when I take my medicine, I kind of have to eat and then I'll be looking at my blood sugar drop low and it's just, I have to balance it out. So I'm going to have to figure it out. Like, and I'm trying to intermittent fast. So it's like, I'm going to have to figure it out because I be wanting to eat breakfast. And sometimes I eat breakfast like about 10 in the morning and, um, I need to be eating in that eight hour window. So I feel like I get hungry later on. I have to get some healthy I just got to get some healthy snack options, I think. Um, I haven't incorporated working out yet because I'm trying to clean my diet up. So, this week, this weekend's like my real last weekend of like kind of enjoying eating. Like, huh, I'm trying to do right. So, for the month of February, I'm going to try not to really eat bad, y'all. So, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to eat more healthier options. Or if I do, I'm just going to eat really clean during the week. Because I don't really try to eat bad until the weekend anyways. But I've been kind of doing good, y'all. Like, um, if I want to eat out, like eat out food, I've been doing like the Chipotle bowls. Like eating half of it. Then have the other half later. Um, my husband, he's been cooking. So he's always trying to see if he can make a green vegetable with whatever he makes. Um, so we've been trying that. But um, we went and enjoyed ourselves yesterday. We went out to a restaurant that um, I need to do a few reviews on. But I feel like we going to have to go during the daytime because we went at night when it was turned and they had the DJ and watch the Cowboy game. So, um, it'll be in my vlog. So, y'all make sure y'all watch my vlog so we can get that um, going. And, um, yeah, but I'm going to have to, we're going to have to run it back and do a really good food review on it. Like, I feel like we might go back next weekend. Um, even though, you know, that's going towards the end of the month and, you know, the first month coming up. So, people got to pay rent and stuff, but my husband, he don't be caring. We already got our mortgage money put to the side so um we probably will be going back again we didn't even spend a hundred dollars for the two of us um so we need to try we did wings and fries instead of like the other side that it's known for so we're gonna go back and we're gonna try with the other side that it's known for and see what it's hidden for but um that is it on my haul guys um we went to another store too but it's for a baby shower gift I don't know if y'all want to see that, but, um, it's for my cousin. So, yeah, but, um, I have a Bath and Body Works haul that I need to film. Yeah. So, like, comment, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. My commentary, I've been really long-winded. This video is 40 minutes long. So, we're going to go ahead and cut it and move on with our lives, okay? I might cut some clips out of the damn thing. Me rambling. But this is here today. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, honey. I'm going to try to do better with vlogging. But I don't go nowhere during the week, so I only vlog on the weekends when I go out. Unless I do go somewhere during the week. But towards the summertime, it's going to be shop hopping. Okay, I'm going to vlog my birthday weekend. My birthday is in March. Pisces gang in this thing. It's Aquarius season. So Pisces, we up next, baby. Turn up, turn up. Sorry, y'all. I keep. My ring, my wedding ring, keep moving and stuff and on my hand. So, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I'm going to speak to y'all the next haul. But if y'all see me wearing the same thing, just know. Y'all know how I do. I filmed multiple things on the same day. That's what we do over here. Because I've been putting off doing that damn Bad Body Works haul.